On this day, August 21st, 1962, three Bahamian women participated for the first time in international track and field competition in Kingston, Jamaica. They were Gail North Saunders, Christine Jones Darville and Elaine Thompson. Four days later, on August 25th, Althea Roll Clark joined up to make the fourth leg of the women's 4x1 relay. Andy Crawford was my first coach, and the answer Burroughs, my second coach, and he was the person who bought my first pair of sprints. So when we got to Jamaica in 62, at least I was able to run in my sprints because I was used to running you know, in the sprints. We didn't win the gold, silver, or bronze, but we competed and we did a good job. And I, am, I thank God that we paved the way, because right now, the golden girls, the golden guys, they're making us so proud. It's so proud to be a Bahamian that we can travel and really be seen and come back happy no matter what. Now on August 25th, 1962, four days after his 19th birthday, a young Perry Christie, now Prime Minister of the Bahamas, won the bronze medal in the triple jump, the first field event medal at that level by a Bahamian. Prime Minister Christie says it's because of achievements like these and those by our Golden Knights that we have to continue to develop our sports product. You are having this for me means that I was an athlete before. And when I did my jumping, I told you I had to build a pit. Even on St. Augustine's, Doyle Assange, we had to go up there for this October meet where we only had one athlete, Elaine. We had to actually build a runway for the triple jump. And we did that voluntarily upon St. Augustine's. And so we didn't have the facilities that people have today. So the one thing we are going to assure, we are going to review the conditions under which you operate, the subventions, all of that, with a view to ensuring that we are doing the right thing for, for each of you.